Thomas Irwin with International Coaching. And I want to take a couple of minutes just to uh, encourage you. And I want to talk to you about the, uh, the power of taking action. The power of progression, the power that's released through momentum and movement. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was reading a particular, a short little story in scripture. And it was a story I'm sure most people have heard at some point in time in their lives. But it was a story of a fellow who was given a talent. Now, in the context of that story, the talent really was a coin. But regardless, this individual was given a talent, and rather than taking that talent and using it to somehow be a benefit or a help to those around him, he, he took that talent and he actually buried it. In other words, he didn't release it, he kept it to himself, and he buried it. A few days after reading this particular story, because I was really impacted by the power of this individual keeping something to himself, in fact, not just keeping it to himself, but really burying it. And I came across a quote that I posted on my Facebook, and it says this, The real tragedy of life is not death. The real tragedy of life is the death that we allow to take place within us while we live. Now, I know that there are always things within us, in a sense, that need to be dying. I mean, we need to be dying to our, our pride and our arrogance and, and selfishness and different things like that, things that are not helpful. Uh, but in, 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 in edifying and encouraging to other people. But when I read that quote, really in the context of a short story I had read a couple of days before, I thought, you know, how many dreams, how many visions, uh, how many plans, how many hopes are lying dormant within cemeteries today? How many individuals, you know, today that are they're alive, but they've allowed a death to take place in and the death to a dream that they once held on to, but for whatever reasons, life threw a curve at them, circumstances seemed insurmountable around them, they allowed that dream to die, and they never ever really took action on it. You know, I, I want to talk to you for a moment about the power of action. You know, it's, it's okay to have a dream. It's okay to have a desire. But what really makes that dream or desire powerful is when we decide to, to take action on that particular thing. You know, ideation without execution is really nothing more than a delusion. It's, it's, it's important to have a dream. It's important to have a desire, but can I tell you, it really doesn't take any strength or any faith to have a dream. What really takes faith is when we take that dream, we take that desire, and somehow we release it and we take action, and that action is for the betterment and the encouragement and the success of those around us. You know, when we take action, when we step up, and we choose to break through maybe the constraints of, of fear, of the fear that maybe we tried something in the past that it didn't work, or the fear that others will not understand and they might possibly reject us. But when we allow a limitation or a ceiling of fear to, to come over our lives and we give in to that, it holds us back from taking action. And really like that guy in the store, what we end up doing is we, we fail to release our potential and we, we bury our talent. You know... Faith isn't required to dream. Faith isn't required to really make a decision. But faith is required to take action. In fact, when action is truly released, it requires a ruthless trust. Movement and momentum release faith. And faith is that element that releases the anointing in our lives. You know, I was so curious, I started to read some of the other stories. Uh, in the scripture, there are so many people in our world that are hurting right now. And so I looked at how Jesus responded to hurting people. Well, number one, he responded with a whole lot of compassion. He really cared for those that are around him that are going through troublesome times. But there was something that really stood out that really kind of amazed me. It was this, of how many times before he healed somebody or he did something wonderful for somebody, it was like he required them to do something first. It's almost like, you know, he takes a hundred steps towards us, but we take that first step towards him. I was thinking about a particular story. A guy had leprosy in his hand. And, uh, you know, he, he comes to the master and says, look, if you're willing, you can heal me. And Jesus said to this guy, hey, I'm willing, stretch forth your hand. And you know what was really interesting was the minute this guy stretched forth his hand was the minute power was released and this man was healed. I want to encourage all of you. It, it, to begin to release the potential that God's placed in you. you. You know what? Don't bury your talents. There's something that you have that someone else needs. 
And you and I need to make the decision today that we're not going to bury our gifts, bury our talent, but we're going to fully release the potential that God's given us, that we're not just going to dream, that we're not just going to have a desire, we're not just going to have ideation, we're not going to allow something to die, but we're going to step up, we're going to stand up, go boldly, and we're going to begin to take action. Because you know what? When you keep moving forward, that's how winning's done. And I have a lot of people as a coach that come to me and say, you know, how can I be successful? How can I be wealthy? How can I win? Well, let me give you the key to all those. You keep moving forward. When you keep moving forward, that's how winning is done. Make a decision today that whatever it is, whether it's small or whether it's large, whatever it is that's been deposited in you, take action on that. And as you better another's life, you're going to better your own. I hope this was kind of encouraging. Many of you commented on my Facebook quotes, and uh, so I wanted to take a minute just to really build on those. Really more face-to-face is important. Keep moving forward. That's how winning's done. Hey, this is Russ Irwin. Thanks a lot for listening, and hopefully this is a breath of fresh air into your life, and that you can use this to be a breath of fresh air to bring hope to someone else's. Hey, God bless.